Hey guys, welcome back. Charles Damiano here from the Bruce Lee Collection, and once again, I'm here with my good friend Hector Martinez. Charlie! Hey, buddy. Thanks as always for inviting me into your Bruce Lee gallery. My you know pleasure, how bro. I love coming here and seeing your beautiful uh, pieces, and today we have a special episode lined up. Yes, I know sir. you called me last night and said, hey, I want to dedicate a, an episode to Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, and you <laughs> told me you had some... Uh, uh, key items here and I uh, wanted you to share it with the fans so I'm gonna pass the mic over to you and maybe we could start with this uh, beautiful post you have here. Thank you Charlie. Charlie this is something very special mm -hmm. and uh, the, the reason it's special is because number one this was a gift from a good friend of ours Mr. J.R. Goodman. Oh wow. J.R. Goodman is the premier Green Hornet collector and the one responsible, Charlie, for finding the Black Beauty after all those years. years. You remember when he had that video out and he would show the Black Beauty and of Van course. Williams was in his garage? In his him. own house! In his house! How cool is that? You know, and uh, but the thing with JR is that JR has, he's from our era. Yes. And uh, JR has always been a fan of Bruce Lee. I mean, who is it, right, Charlie? Oh, absolutely, man. And, uh, but JR is much more of a hardcore collector mm -hmm. than, than you and I. Yes. And the reason I say this is because he seeked and searched out for the Black Beauty and he found it. Yeah. And JR, not only that, but JR Goodman is also responsible for releasing a lot of the lost footage that most Bruce Lee collectors would not have had if, if it, it wasn't, wasn't for J.R. Goodman. You know, now that you said that, I remember buying almost all my footage back in the 80s from yeah. J.R. Do you yes. remember when he had the Cato or the Green Hornet website? Of and course. And he used to show his collectibles and then you used to be able to call him. And I would call him all the time. Yeah. And most of my rare backyard footage and black and white footage came from J.R.'s collection. He was one of the first, you know, distributing footage from collector to a collector back in the day. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, he was, he's unbelievable. I mean, uh, uh, JR was actually uh, the first to put out Marlowe. Yes. Uh, the Longstreet uh, Bruce Lee appearances. Yes. Ironside. Ironside. Uh, of course, the Green Hornet series. And, uh, and some of the Green Hornet uh, footage that was behind the scenes, some of the press conferences yes. that I've never seen back right, then. And right, right. He had them all on video. He had the outtakes. And the Bruce Lee interview. Exactly. The, the 20th Century Fox uh, uh, screen test. Yes. Here is Bruce Lee displaying Cato and Van Williams. I'll say it the Chinese way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, Bruce, just look right into the camera lens right here and tell us your name, your age, and where you were born. My last name is Lee, Bruce Lee. I was born in San Francisco, 1940. I'm 24 right now. So, JR, this episode is dedicated to you, brother. Yeah, man. Charlie, this is a gift from JR Goodman. Uh, it's very special, and I am uh, uh, humbled and very appreciative yeah. at this gift. Because what you're looking at is a one off, mm -hmm. it's a one of a kind. This is actually the Dragon poster, uh, the poster to Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, the 1993 Wait. Rob Cohen film. Okay. Um, and it's based on the life uh, uh, of Bruce Lee. Yes. Now, this poster here, Charlie, was actually created at the artist's studio. So, what you're looking at now is actually a template of the poster. Ah, okay, right. Okay. This is before the posters were released Least. in the in the theaters. So the the big one sheets, the third, the twenty seven by forty one one sheets of Dragon. Yes. This is the template to those original one sheets. Indeed. Wow. It, it's that's based why it's on smaller. this. That's why it's smaller. Smaller than the original. Wow. Right. Now, what's interesting, Charlie, is that this poster here, if you touch lightly, you can see that that image. Oh wow! It's not printed on the poster. I didn't even realize yeah. that. You see, it's it here? almost like a cutout. It's a cutout that they put onto the poster. Onto the poster. Because back in the day, that's how they used to do imaging. They like, used to put them on, and that's how they would create the poster. That's it. Wow! Before it was all digital. Before, right today is that they placed it uh, digitally now. Exactly. But these wow. are actually cutouts. That is a cutout. Right. Every letter is a cutout oh. as well. 
That is amazing. And it's and everything here is painstakingly added by oh, the artist. Oh man, I could see that. That's yeah. how the uh, graphic artists did artwork back in the day. Indeed. 30 years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And as you can see, the every little letter is placed on the background. This one is the mystery, the love, the legend, the life. Dragon the Bruce. Oh, that's story. even raised. Yeah. Wow, man, yeah. that is great. Uh-huh. So this is initially the poster that the company went with. That's amazing. And I this is the one blown that... Away. Thank you, Charlie, and thank you, JR. This is the one that you and I both recognize for yeah, absolutely. Dragging the Bruce Lee story. Wow, what a nice gift from JR. And then, no, he just did that out of the kindness of his heart. He just... You know, Charlie, uh, JR, a few years ago, he showed me uh, photos of these posters okay. that he had in his collection. And he told me that he acquired these from Universal Studios they were thrown out oh my goodness and he was at the right place at the right time wow. and he gathered these posters and he uh took them home uh for you know for his collection absolutely and then years later he he sends me a message and he says hector i need your mailing address i want to send you something yeah yeah and uh, i says yeah you know I'm, sure thank you you know and uh this showed up in the mail. I, I, I was blown away. Talk man. about the brotherhood of Bruce Lee collecting, right? People always mention that now, and they love the camaraderie and the brotherhood that goes on between collector from collector. And yeah. JR is a perfect example of that, just sending yeah. you this out yeah. of nowhere and you yeah. opening it up and seeing this beautiful, magnificent poster. In I there. couldn't believe it. Wow. I, I went to the post office and I see this big, gigantic box. I mean, I thought JR was probably going to send me a magazine. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, some, which is cool. You know, I, I appreciate but. Just to send me this, yeah, I was, that was really totally nice. blown away. But Charlie, it doesn't stop here. Uh, uh, J.R. Goodman's uh, generous gift does not stop here. And he, even if it did, it, it's m you know more than oh, enough. Yeah, man. But um, J.R. also sent me. Uh oh, here we go. Uh, this one. Let's see this one. Wow! Look at Jason Scott Lee there. Yeah, man. I think he did a great Bruce Lee. Uh, uh, interpretation uh, in that movie. I think he was yeah. perfect for the role. Yeah, I, you know, I'll be honest with you, uh, you've got people that love and hate this movie. Oh, I know, I know. But I personally think it was a great movie. It wasn't accurate, Charlie. Right, you right. and I both were. Yeah. But for you to sit down and enjoy a movie, I'd rather watch this. Oh, me too. It wasn't accurate, but it was very entertaining. It's very entertaining. The quality was great. And to, you know, this was the first movie that really came out on Bruce Lee and his life story at that time in 93, right? Oh, Lee, Lee was involved. And yeah. they, again, they, they oh, yeah. exaggerated certain things in the movie. Yeah. It wasn't exact, but it was an entertaining movie. And, it I, was. and I really enjoyed it. And I thought he did a great job, Jason Scott Lee. And he studied with Jerry Poteet, who was a you know first generation student, student of Bruce Lee. So his fighting in the movie was, was, it was right on point. So. Getting involved in Bruce's philosophies and Bruce's beliefs help scare away all the fears that come into actually portraying a legend. Jerry Poteet, who studied with Bruce Lee, was brought in to coach Jason in the gritty style of the master. Bruce was a fighter, I mean, street fighter. He'd get out and he'd get into it, see? So he had that, he wanted that on the screen to be able to say that his fights look real. I still watch it till today. I do too. Every time it comes on, yeah. I, I want to see it again. <laughs> now, Charlie, again. I never seen this one though. Yeah, well, this one is uh, is what they call a rejected poster. Ah. I don't know why they were rejected because I love it, man. You know. So they were either yeah. looking to use this one or the other one or the other one, and uh, and again, right? These were. Yeah, I could feel the letter added. gets raised. Yes. Yeah. Yes. These wow. everything is added. Every single letter is added to the background, and oh, um, the chucks and everything. Yes, kind of cut all that out. Yep, man. The mystery, the legend, the life, and uh, I. I think this is a great, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Wow, Charlie. Down here, everything is added piece by piece, and um, like I said, this was the t template. Yeah. But they uh, they actually uh, re rejected this one. And they went with the other one. And they went the one with that the we other. all know now. Right. Doing the flying kick. The flying kick, yeah. which is um, it's iconic. Yeah. Either one of these would have been amazing. Yeah. This is a really great poster as well. Yeah. Have any of you guys seen this poster before? If so, 
Comment below. I'd love to hear if you have caught a glimpse of this poster. This is the first time I'm seeing this. So <laughs> leave a comment. Let us know if you've seen this before. Well, thank wow. you so much, JR. Wow, JR big Mid. shout out to you, JR. What magnificent pieces that are now part of Hector Martinez's collection. Indeed. Also, if you don't mind, Charlie, I'd like to, uh, I want to share the dedication. Uh, I was going to, it was going to remain personal, but I think I should uh, share it with sure. your fans. Yeah. So, oh, what are you writing here? Yeah. It's, uh, I think I should dedicate. So this one is uh, for one of my most treasured friends, Hector. Enjoy this one of one, there is no other of the rejected Universal Dragon posters. God bless always, J.R. Goodman. Wow, look at that, 9, 10, 2021. Thank you, J.R., man, you, he's a magnificent. Wow, so now that we went through the posters, what else do you have in mind here from, for Dragon? I yeah. know you have a couple of really interesting uh, items outside of these two. <laughs> so, what do you what do you want to go over next? Well, Charlie, uh, I um, got a few of the pieces here. Uh, I'd like to share with you. Wow! Uh, this is the original script from Dragon. Uh, this was from January the fifth. 1992. Wow, a year um, before it came out. Indeed, the film was released in 93. Great. But what's interesting about this script here, you're going to show closer yeah, shots definitely, later definitely. Right in yep. the video, uh, was this is before they went with Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. The original name was supposed to be Dragon, a life of Bruce Lee. Wow, yeah. I like that name too. Yeah, yeah. Dragon, a life of Bruce Lee. That was the original intended title for this movie. This is a screenplay by uh, Rob Cohen, and it's uh, based on the screenplay by Edward uh, Camara and John Raffo. Uh, now, when yeah. did you pick this up? A couple years ago? Or? I got this maybe about, I'd say like seven, eight years ago. Wow. Uh, yeah, and I uh, was waiting for the appropriate video yeah. to, to show it, share it with the uh, I love. I love movie scripts, man. That's fantastic. And this certainly looks like the original. I mean, you could see from the coloring and the oh, way indeed. it's put together. It indeed. doesn't look like a photocopy. So yes. you have a really beautiful uh, script there on your hands, man. Thank you, man. Wow. Thank you. Thank it's you. amazing. Thank you so much. And what's next here? Well, uh, here's another piece. I mean, a, a lot of uh, vinyl collectors and Bruce Lee fans are familiar with the soundtrack. Yep. Uh, which uh, I think is magnificent, the soundtrack uh, and this. It sends chills, chills when you hear it. When I hear it, it yeah. sends chills up my spine. <laughs> I know people that work out with the soundtrack. Yeah. When I used yeah. to compete in bodybuilding uh -huh. and I was on stage posing, I actually used the soundtrack to Dragon. It was there you so go. dramatic. There you and go. And the music, and it just flowed beautifully. <laughs> I might show a clip of that. Awesome. In my old days, yeah, oh. but that, that is beautiful sound. It's a must, it's uh, a must. It's, it's unbelievable. And this is, uh, uh, music is by Randy Edelman. Uh -huh. uh, this is a nice sealed uh, sealed copy. And uh, Now, did you get that when it came out in the, in the, in the 90s? Or you I, picked this up later? Uh, I got these a, a few years okay. ago. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, the reason I brought this is because this is not really rare. Right. Uh, you, can, you can still find this on CD, on yep. cassette, and on album. But I wanted... Uh, the fans out there, to, to, yeah, you can hold that, Charlie. Thank you. And I uh, wanted the fans to take a glimpse of this one. So this one's sealed, and is this one open? This one is sealed. It's completely sealed. Wow, right. It's rare. But this one, if you notice carefully, there's a difference. This one says Dragon, but this one says Dragao. Oh, look at this that. This is from Brazil. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So that's a Brazilian copy, and this is from the United States. Yes, sir. Here it says, The Bruce Lee Story, and this one says, A Historia de Bruce, Bruce Lee, Lee, which is in Portuguese. Yes. Right. Wow. So, uh-huh. So let's see if there's a difference in the in the back. Yes. Oh, yeah, the print's larger also. Right. The American print has a is smaller small. Smaller text, yep. And this larger one text is, there. is larger, yeah. Wow. And is the is, is your typical black vinyl on this one, or is it this, colored vinyl? Uh, it's, a black it's a black vinyl. vinyl. Yeah, that's what most yep. albums are these days. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful, man. So this I is the uh, American yep. uh, version, the U.S. version, and the uh, uh, Portuguese, uh, Brazilian version. Yeah. Man, look at these guys. If you have these albums, uh, please chime in. Uh, let us know in the comment that you own either the American or Portuguese version. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, what did you guys think of the soundtrack to this movie? Comment below. Let us know if you enjoyed it as much as Hector and I did. Yeah, man. Wow, this is great, man. I love these. And like they say in Portuguese, bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia. <laughs> that means good day. I love it. Wow, those are nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Now this is a cool uh, Bruce Lee, Dragon to Bruce Lee story mug. Mug. And uh, man, talk about collectibles. You have it all on Dragon. I love yeah, it. Yeah. I've never seen that mug before. This is a, drink your coffee. A little Dragon mug. So we got a little something there. Yep. They came out with all the merchandising <laughs> products at the time they put out this movie. Indeed. This is a, uh, this is a screener. It's a VHS screener of Dragon. Oh, okay. Uh, before Dragon was released to the public, uh, they did a, um, a cassette. Wow, look at that. Because it doesn't really even have the box uh, art on it. Yeah. It just has the, the name Dragon. Dragon with some uh, Chinese, uh, Chinese lettering. Letters. And uh, yeah. Well, yeah. that's nice. Wow, I've never seen that before. Yeah, so it's actually a, uh, a screener copy, a yeah. promo. And that's on VHS, right? On VHS, yeah. 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 Wow. wow. And uh, not, for, not for rental. Or a sale. Look at so, that. You know, yeah, it's a pretty uh, rare. I enjoy this stuff. Yeah. Rare piece there, man. All right. Now, Charlie, I want to show you something special. Uh, a lot of people are looking at these things and they say, yeah, well, you know, I mean, it, it's cool, these little items. But I want to show you something very special um, that I acquired, which is what I call being at the right place and at, at the, the right, right time. time. Let's go for it. Okay. All right, guys. Now, Hector's going to show another new piece of dragon. Get ready for this, guys. Hector, what do you have here, man? Whoa. All right, Charlie. Yes, sir. Look at that. Dragon the Bruce Lee story on oh, a yes. karate outfit. Is that a karate uniform? It's a, it's a karate gi. Wow. Where would yeah. you get that? Here, tell, tell the yeah. audience about that. That is beautiful. <laughs> and it actually comes with the belt. Look, you're a white belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a white belt, man. <laughs> it comes with the belt. And, uh, Charlie, this was a promotional uh, karate gi. Yeah. I think that Universal Studios put it out to promote the film. Don't know if it was given away or if it was part of the um, the crew that was there at the premiere of the film. I really don't know much about this piece, but it is a promotional uh, Dragon, the Bruce Lee Man, story. It's beautiful. Uh, karate. Look piece. at that, guys. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah, that probably was a, a nice promotional item that they uh, they put out. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it was for sale or not, like you said, or maybe it was something to market the movie. To maybe market the movie. The premiere, they had people come out in these uniforms, right? Right, right. Wow. You never know. It could be now, any number of things. Now, if you notice, the belt is, was never worn. Yeah. So, I'm, look at that. I'm going to keep it like this. Yeah. Here. So. Wow. It's, Beautiful, man. It's never worn and uh, folded the way it was issued. Absolutely. Right. So, uh... Yeah, this is uh, actually one of my favorite pieces in my Dragon, the Bruce Lee story collection. Oh, okay. Nice, excellent. So. Another outstanding piece here. <laughs> so uh, why don't we uh, do a different angle now and we'll show these last few items. You Sounds got good? it. All, All right. right. Now, Charlie, uh, what you're looking at right now is one of my favorite pieces in my collection. Uh, this one is a uh, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story banner. Uh, I think it's magnificent. I mean, I, I just love this piece. It, uh, it actually measures, uh, it's uh, 10 feet by 5 feet, uh, 10 uh, uh, length and uh, 5 in, in width, and it features a beautiful iconic image of Jason Scott Lee doing the, uh, the flying kick. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, the life, the love, the legend. Bruce Lee uh, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Wow. And uh, if you see in the bottom, Charlie, it's actually a promotional piece because it says, coming soon to a theater near you. Yeah, look at that. I see that. Coming yeah. soon to a theater near you. Wow, yeah. amazing, yes, sir. man. They must have hung these in the movie theaters, no? Yeah, uh, I believe in the, uh, in the lobby. You know, uh, when people left the theater, they, they were, you know, treated to this beautiful image of uh, their new and upcoming film. So uh, once again, uh, it's a great banner, and it's a, I believe it's made of vinyl. It's not paper. Mm -hmm. It's uh, made of vinyl. Uh, great quality, beautiful image. I love the colors. Uh, I think, you know, they, they don't uh, promote movies like this anymore. Uh, back in the days, uh, just like France, everything was done large. They wanted to really capture the um, the patrons' uh, attention, and this is a this is a long lost promotional art form. They just don't do this anymore. Wow, well, it's magnificent, Hector. I really love it. Thank you, Charlie. I'm I'm blessed and uh, uh, happy to have it. Great. So. so, what do you have next for us, man? Yeah, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Okay. Now, Charlie. Uh, this is another poster that I have in my collection for Dragon the Bruce Lee story and uh, this one is uh, six feet by four feet 
And again, it's another promotional poster. Uh, it says, uh, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, opens May the 7th. So uh, this is uh, from 1993, uh, summer of, of uh, 93. And uh, I remember exactly where I was, man, when this movie uh, uh, first opened. Everybody was talking about Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. They were wondering whether Jason Scott Lee was going to be successful in his portrayal of Bruce Lee. Uh, we wanted to see the, um, uh, the real story as far as the cause of Bruce Lee's passing. I mean, the expectations were, were endless. Yep. Um, of course, we all know that the movie was not accurate. Uh, but I still enjoy the movie for what it was, and um, very happy to have this poster in the um, in the collection. Okay. So, uh, the life, the love, the legend, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story opens May seventh, nineteen ninety three. Charlie, I would like to take the opportunity to to thank J R Goodman uh, for his most generous gifts, and. Uh, I want to say, JR, uh, if you're watching our video, uh, you know, I, I really appreciate what you've done, man. You know, you, you've made me very happy and uh, uh, very pleased with such amazing gifts. You know, uh, these are one of a kind gifts, something that I will treasure forever. But I want you to know something, brother. I know what you're going through, and it's not easy. And, uh, but, bro, I'm praying for you, and I'm praying for your family because I have faith. The things are going to turn out better. They're going to turn out well. You just hold on there, brother. Hold on as much as you can. You've got people that love you and people that are praying for you as well. And I'm one of them. So, J.R. Goodman, thank you so, so much, brother. God bless you. And may he give you health, peace, and prosperity, and most of all, long life. Wow, well, that was wonderful, Hector. Thank you so much. Man. That, that was beautiful. My pleasure, and those words you gave Jar, he's well, well deserving of that. And uh, I want to thank you, man. You're always so gracious inviting us over and wanting to do these episodes to share all your wonderful collectibles. Thank with you, man. So thank you as always. You. And uh, I wanted to thank you again. And I wanted to thank you guys for always joining us and watching these episodes. I know you guys really uh, enjoy them. So I'm going to sign out now. Charles Damiano signing out from the Bruce Lee Collection. Once again, saying have fun collecting. We'll see you guys next Friday. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and remember to give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up. See you guys next Friday. God bless! You know, today is a very special day on FX because as you know, the Green Hornet runs on weekends. Well, I have with me now the premier Green Hornet memorabilia collector of all time, J.R. Goodman. J.R., thanks for having us, man. Thank you. Now, when the average guy looks at your collection, he says, well, that's nice, but it doesn't necessarily look that extensive. Well, a lot of people think that, but this is 75% of what is actually available from the Green Hornet TV show is in memorabilia stuff. So this is actually pretty rare and valuable. Very rare, very valuable, because they only did 26 episodes of the show, and a lot of people didn't get their licensing agreement in, and this is all there is. Well, let's talk about it. Now, I see you got the, uh, the metal Green Hornet lunchbox here. Yes. That's from 1966, put out by Thermos. Very hard to find, in good shape. As you can see, this one's a little rough, but a uh, uh, nice, valuable piece. What would this go for? Any idea? About $250. <sighs> now, what's your premier piece? It's got to be the car. Got to be the car. All right. Well, how valuable is the car? $350,000. $350,000. How fast does it go? It goes 120 miles an hour. What's he talking about? Not that car, John. This car over here. Oh, JR, you've got Black Beauty. This is the Black Beauty. This is the original car that was actually used in the TV show. And you restored it yourself? Uh, yeah, I had it restored by the guy that did the uh, TV show car originally, and he put this one back together for me. Wow, this is great. Now, this over here is actually uh, where Bruce Lee as Kato sat. That's where he sat, right there. That's the seat that Bruce Lee sat in. Wow, now, do you ever talk to the Green Hornet, Van Williams? Yes, I do. Uh, in fact, would you like to talk to him now? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, oh, oh, it's the Green Hornet. All right. How are hey, you? Nice good, to good. see you. Doing a little reminiscing around here? Absolutely. Yeah. Man, this looks great. Oh, yeah, great car. Great Wait, car. Wait, you know, Van, I'm sure that speaking of the car, you probably know a lot about it. Can we take a look at some of the gizmos and gadgets? Sure, sure. Come around let's, here let's in the go back. Let's take a look Show at this. Show you a bunch of the stuff that it does. Here you got a TV scanner. This was on kind of an auto gyro type of deal. It would come out, fly up in the air. 
and I had a monitor inside. This was a TV camera. I had a monitor inside. You'd go four or five hundred feet, track somebody across the streets or, you know, away from the car. Then you had here, you had the gas gun or the, uh, what we call the uh, grease gun or oil gun that sprayed oil out. You could either get them with the gas or you could get them with the oil, make them spin out and everything else. Then you had the rockets, two banks of rockets here. They would fire the rockets out the back or you could fire them out the front. Check of a deal. Did you have a lot of fun working on the show? It oh, seems yeah. like a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Bruce and I were just, we were really good friends and we would joke around and most of the show was stunts, so we did most of our own stunts and had a ball. Yeah. Now, speaking of stunts, this has one more gizmo here in the back, right? Yeah, in the back you have these things called the rams. These rams would come out and they would, big brackets would come up and grip them and then the whole thing would flip over whether we wanted to use the Black Beauty or whether we wanted to use my regular car, the personal car, which was a, a convertible. Well, let's take a look at that in action. You want to? Yeah, we got some film on it over here. Speaking of film, how do you feel when you watch the old Green Hornet episodes? Yeah, it makes me feel good. I think the production values in this show are as good as anything that's on right now, and they got a real loyal fan following, and uh, these people are just great. They uh, know as much about the show, if not more, a heck of a lot more usually than I do. <laughs> and the kicker is you're still in law enforcement today, huh? Right. Still work with the Sheriff's Department. I've been with them for 24 years, working patrol and mountain rescue, and still do a lot of work with them. Van Green Hornet, hey, thanks for coming out. Sure thing. It's Thank you. Real honor. And JR, thanks for having us. Thank you for having this me. This has been the best. Right. My last name is Lee, Bruce Lee. I was born in San Francisco in 1940. I'm 24 right now.